I have just spent three weeks at my home in Germany after spending almost three years living here in Asia. And yeah, I had some mixed feelings while being at home in Germany. And I thought today I'm going to share these feelings with you so that you can get an insight of my life behind all this traveling, being far away from family, from home. And I also want to talk about three cultural differences that I noticed while being at home compared to Asia. And yeah, first of all, I was very happy the past three years traveling and living here in Asia. And this part of the world, Southeast Asia specifically, is still where I see myself at least for the next years. So traveling back home to Germany was more like going to Germany for a holiday rather than going home to stay there. I think I also mentioned that in the video that I filmed uh, of me going back home. By the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. And then it was, of course, nice to uh, spend time with my family, with my friends in my home village where I lived most of my life. So I really enjoyed that and it was really time for that after being away for almost three years. But then pretty quickly these weird feelings started to kick in. After like a week already I started to miss my traveling life and I felt like bored at my home village. I missed going to new places, trying new food, meeting new people, being in places that I'm not familiar with, leaving my comfort zone, all these things that I do on a regular basis while traveling, all of that wasn't there when I was at home. And I didn't think that I'm going to miss all of that that quickly. The life in my home village in Germany is very different compared to my life here. It was so quiet, everything was familiar, almost everything looked exactly the same like three years ago, no changes, and all my friends were living the same life as when I left, so it really felt like I came home after three years and nothing really has changed. And that made me realize I wouldn't be happy living here anymore. Living the same life every day, no changes, no excitements, no adventures. Like if I would live the same life now, like three years ago, maybe going to the same job every day, doing the same stuff every day, and that would also be the same in the upcoming three years, maybe five years, maybe even ten years, I wouldn't be happy with that. And I really realized that while being at home. So the time that I spent at my home in Germany also reassured me that I am on the right path in my life. And it is kind of nice to have this reassurance now, but it was also weird to uh, realize that I wouldn't be happy living my old life in Germany anymore, you know? But on the other hand, it would also be nice to be able to spend more time with my family. I wish I could just move my whole family also here to Southeast Asia, but uh, yeah, of course, they all have their own lives in Germany, so that's not gonna happen. But I do think that in the future, I'm going to visit home more often, I think maybe at least once a year. And that's another thing that I realized uh, while being at home now. And my mom and my sister also think thinking about visiting me here next year in Southeast Asia and I'm really looking forward to that as well. And yeah, now I'm actually also curious to uh, hear from you guys. I know that most people who watch my videos are older than I am. I can see that in my analytics. So if you have some wisdom to share about this topic, uh, feel free to do so in the comment section down below. Maybe some of you are also living abroad or have lived abroad for a long time. How are your feelings uh, about this? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Can you relate to what I'm saying here? Let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, let me also talk about three major cultural differences between Germany and Southeast Asia that I noticed while being back home. First of all, and that is also something that I kind of dislike about Germany now, the people are colder in Germany, not as welcoming, friendly and open towards you as here in Asia. Wherever I go here, people smile, people seem to be happy, everyone is super welcoming to me and I didn't really have that feeling in Germany. And that was also a little bit weird for me. The food was also something that I missed quickly about Southeast Asia. Here it is normal to go out to get food. You sit somewhere to have your lunch or your dinner. You are around people. While in Germany, most people uh, eat at home every day. We don't really have this going out to get food culture as you have it here in Asia. And if you just eat at home every day, there's of course also yeah, a social aspect missing. And I realized pretty quickly that I actually missed that a lot. And yeah, overall the outside areas in Germany are more quiet than here in Southeast Asia. When I was walking around my village or driving through my village, there was nothing going on. You barely even saw another person. No roadside stalls, nobody grilling food on the road, no kids playing on the roads. 
everything you see here in every village in Southeast Asia, no matter if it's in Thailand, in Malaysia or in another country, here there's always life going on outside and in Germany most life actually happens indoors. Everyone at their own at their homes. So being back in Germany also made me realize how much I actually love Southeast Asia and how much I would miss things like this if I would not live here anymore. And yeah, after the time at home, I'm actually more excited and more keen to travel again, to film cool videos. And I feel like this year, finally, traveling is almost back to normal. So when I look on the map now, there are so many options uh, again, which is really, really awesome. So let me share some of my uh, future plans, uh, the plans for the next upcoming months here on the channel. So I am back in Malaysia now and I have two more trips planned here on Peninsula Malaysia, which I'm going to share with you, of course. And after that, we are finally flying over to uh, East Malaysia, to Borneo, where I have never been to before. And yeah, I'm planning to spend around six to eight weeks over there before I would then like to uh, visit Singapore for one or two weeks. And after Singapore, I'm really, really excited to uh, visit Indonesia, especially Jakarta. I'm very excited to uh, spend a few weeks in Jakarta, maybe travel around Indonesia a little bit. So I'm really looking forward to that. And after that, I'm also interested to visit the Philippines later this year. So I think we do have some interesting upcoming month here on the channel, and I'm very excited to uh, share all of this with you. And yeah, I am happy to be back in Asia now, to uh, be back to my traveling life, to uh, leave my comfort zone again, to uh, gain experiences, learn about the cultures here, the people, the food. And yeah, maybe this video can uh, be an inspiration for you guys as well to uh, yeah leave your comfort zones and chase your dreams too. One of the biggest fears in my life is to uh, regret things. At the end of my life, I want to look back to uh, all the experiences and I want to say that I really lived my best life, that I have nothing to regret and that I spent a life doing exactly what I love to do. And I really hope that all of you guys watching this will be able to uh, find your happiness in life to whatever it is that makes you happy. And yeah, if you haven't seen my videos from back home in Germany, I will link my Germany playlist right here. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then See you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.